Save our planet. British fish species plummet 94% in the last 118 years. Researchers from the University of York in the United Kingdom have found that the industrialization of fishing has exploited fish stocks and has dramatically altered seabed ecosystems, with many marine species that have since collapsed. Species that have been heavily fished as food items, such as halibut, turbot and plaice, have fallen 94% in numbers since 1889. Moreover, cod has declined 87%, with hake decreasing by more than 95%. The researchers note that fishing laws and quotas have thus far been ineffective in replenishing fish populations. Study co-author Ruth Thurston commented, I hope this allows people to realise just how much the seas have been altered and how much has been lost. Meanwhile, overfishing combined with global warming and pollution has also endangered other regions such as the Mediterranean Sea. Philippe Cousteau, son of French environmentalist and explorer Jean-Michel Cousteau, is also CEO of the Ocean Education Organization Earth Eco International. He commented on the drastic change of the world's oceans since the time of his grandfather, legendary oceanographer and conservationist Jacques-Yves Cousteau. The Mediterranean Sea is, is a dead sea. Uh, when my grandfather uh, was diving 40, 50 years ago, uh, you can go back and see those films and look at that footage, and you go back to the same places today, and it's changed so much. Uh, these places with coral and with full of life, uh, you go back and they're, they're, it's, it looks like a desert underwater. And what do you um, propose as a solution to all of this? Cutting back, back on meat is a very important one because of all the carbon waste, all the animal waste that goes into the water supplies and pollutes the water and the oceans. Also thinking about uh, um, cutting back on things, simple things every day like plastic bags, plastic bottles. Plastic is a, is a very, very terrible substance that is polluting our oceans and polluting water everywhere and our land. We have a motto that says uh, it's not that you can make a difference. It's that everything you do makes a difference. Our thanks, Mr. Cousteau that, and scientists, and for raising our awareness about the plight of our depleted oceans. May we all lend a hand in restoring the beauty and balance of our precious water planet by respecting and granting peace to all life forms of the sea. At a March 2009 climate change conference in Jalapa City, Mexico, Supreme Master Ching Hai urged for humankind's care of all co-inhabitants, including those that support the living oceans. Every being on earth and in the sea has value, no matter how small they might look, and something unique to do on this planet. It is our ignoring this balance and the preciousness of all life that has contributed to our global danger right now. The way to solve this problem is through greater consideration for all lives. If everyone is vegan, having an animal-free diet, then there is a different outlook, different conception for development of all kinds. In our case, it will proceed with compassion and care, which is what we need to restore the wonders of our marine life. Save our planet! Young U.S. Eco Heroes presented President's Environmental Youth Awards. Winners from 10 regions of the country were honored with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Presidential Prizes in Washington, D.C. as they received acclaim for their contributions to a greener world. Top honors went to youths such as Sarah Jo Lambert of Texas, USA for her project Vision is Green, designed to inspire young people to create a more balanced world through an environmental education center built out of eco-friendly materials. Other awardees include seven Westerly Middle School students from Rhode Island for their project Turn Grease into Fuel, as well as middle school students from Illinois for their team Recycle Because You Care. Environmental Protection Agency Regional Administrator Bharat Mathur said, The work of these motivated students shows that you can be an environmental champion at any age. Our accolade.